Hello, I'm Fast Lawyer. Today we're going to do a Let's Play and Initial Impressions Review for Space Folk City VR, a game released on the Steam Store November 10th, 2021 for the Valve Index, HTC Vive, and the Oculus Rift. It normally retails for $25. I got a free Steam key through the Steam Creator Connect program to review this game. And I'm testing it out on the Oculus Quest 2 using the Oculus Link cable. Now, this is sort of like a city building game, but not exactly quite. Um, it's a simpler, or you could call it like city sim building light. I think that would be an accurate description. It's a little bit on the arcade side. Now, this is the sandbox mode, so there's basically two different modes for playing this game. There's sandbox, and then there's the normal mode, uh, which there's like eight different challenges. Obviously, you start off very easy, and they slowly uh, at ramp up the challenge, and you just have to meet certain goals. Now, this is a sandbox, but even though it's a sandbox, you are limited. And the reason for that is, as you see, there's these clouds right here. And these clouds determine your power source. So I have two different power sources right now because of these two clouds. And there's two other clouds. Now there are no settings for this game. And locomotion is basically done. You push, I mean, you grab and you pull yourself closer or, or push yourself farther away and you can turn by grabbing both of them and you can have whatever view you need. So you kind of have like a god view of the action. If you don't do anything your little guys will do their normal activities although they will not build anything. So they're going about their day, going about their business, um, but they're really not doing much until you direct them on what you want them to do. Now what I want to do it's because uh, we have some, even though this is sandbox mode, there actually is sort of an objective. I mean, you don't really have an objective, but there are some things you need to do before you can increase the population. So you need these little guys to help you out in, you know, building your, your city. And to get more of them, there's certain stuff that you need to do. So what we need to do is build and decorate a new house, build a space a speed place and a stamina place so if we go to our building you can see that we got uh here the speed skill and stamina facilities and we can also build a house there so we're not going to do any of that right now because what we really need i mean the easiest thing for me to do is to build the house but we're not going to do that what i'm going to do though is i'm going to put a new power source here so we can expand our location now you can't just put it anywhere you need to obviously put it near the cloud. And the problem with this right here, the way we have it here, you might want to see how far we okay. We want to push it as far away from the cloud as possible. And the reason for that is so we can have like a little bit of an angle here where we can, uh, in fact, we probably, we probably want to do it that way. And you'll see why in a little bit. So. We cannot begin construction on this thing because none of our little guys can actually stand here and start working on it. So what you need to do in this situation is build a platform. So let's go ahead and build a platform. Now, the platform is actually quite easy. Uh, they just cost five uh, of that currency. So there's not much for us to do there. And once we do that, we just need to pick a guy, one of these little dudes. Oh man, I hate when this stuff comes right here. So we're gonna help him out by putting some of our supplies there. Okay. And so we can help them out by giving them the materials so they don't have to walk, okay. So now we have a power source, we can start building here. So now we're gonna build our, our house that we were talking about. So let's build a house right here. And there's a little bit of, you know, aesthetically, how do you wanna piece it all together? Um, I don't know if you consider this nice looking, 
I can see this house doesn't quite look right. <laughs> I messed up there. It was just hard to place that house correctly. But you can see my guys are building almost on their own because I put them near there. And uh, I don't want them moving around. I have them, have them a little bit trapped there, so it's good. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna untrap them. So what we're gonna, we're gonna do is we're gonna do transportation, the zip line. So we're gonna build a zip line here. And boom. So now they have a place. But we still wanna help our guys. Like we want them to build quickly. Okay, now we can decorate it. So uh, as far as decorating, you have different, we have three avocados, two arts and two bananas. So those are our folks. So we can either go art or banana just to even it out a bit. Uh, I'm gonna go banana <laughs> for no reason. So build a banana, put a little banana here, right here. And so we're gonna get a new occupant. So there, there's our, there's this little bus, the special little bus that uh, I used to get on as a little kid. Brings back really good memories. The little special little bus that I went to school in. And see it in this game is, is really something else. But yeah, the, the little special bus for the special kid. Awesome. And so, yeah, there we go. So we want to decorate a little bit more. We're going to give a little, a little chair right there. And let's see, what else can we do? Another house. Okay, so we're gonna build another house. And this time we're gonna do an art piece, obviously, so. So, again, how do you connect this so that it doesn't look really bad? So you can see, you can put it like this. And that might actually be the best way. Um, this kind of leads to nowhere, though. <laughs> <laughs> you can also do it like this, so, like this, right, but either way, it's not gonna, it's not gonna look great, so, it's just, might as well, right, so, let's start construction, he needs to sleep, alright, this guy's, this guy can work a little bit, um, needs to sleep, Needs to sleep, okay. Okay, this guy can work a little bit, so let's go ahead. So we don't want them to go all the way to the warehouse just to just to get a piece of wood. Need to sleep, okay. So yeah, as you can see they go inside their own little house. Need to sleep. Need to sleep. Okay. So a lot of them are sleeping right now. This guy can work though. You're gonna have to work, man. No, 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 no. no. Work. Don't be going up it all the way. So you kind of have to guide them. Okay. Decorate. So as as I mentioned before, since the last one was banana, we're gonna go for art. And here we can put a little. There we go. So another another guy comes. So that's basically the gist of it. Now, obviously, you don't you're not just building houses. Um, again, because we did an art, we're gonna get a little art person. And so now we're evenly balanced. We got three avocados, three bananas, and three art. Uh, but you also build a defense beacon. This this protects all the properties around here. You see, I have a defense beacon right here. Um, there's a refinery. Uh, what the refinery does is it's add folks and inserts asteroids to produce more scrap. Um, warehouse, that's where you store the scrap. scrap. We got a warehouse right here. Um, so you can see, you can build different things. Um, unfortunately, you are a little bit limited in what you can build. As, as you can see, there are some pieces here. Um, this gives them more speed, skill, or stamina. And as you can see, there's either one, two, or, or space for three. So, you know, obviously gives more stamina to more of these guys. So, yeah, you know, you can build a lot, but you don't have a lot of set pieces. So 
as far as you know like a building sim this is pretty limited now i think i've shown the sandbox pretty much so let's go ahead and save it so this is how you save and then we're going to go exit to title save and exit okay now we're going to play and like i mentioned that i played this about four hours now i just finished the doom city so there's one two three four and there's five which i haven't played yet six seven eight so let's go ahead and do don't panic as you can see there's three different goals here build 10 folk facilities attract seven folk and get city happiness to 35. again uh this is basically the set piece that you're given you can build around that there's one two three four clouds so there's four different available power sources and you can see the configuration of this is a little bit different um so one thing we want to do is we definitely want to connect some of these pieces Although we want to be a little bit careful. We don't want to spend too much on these pieces. But as you can see, you can, like, you can build like a ladder and build it here. And that allows your little guys, you know, to, to get up and down here. And we probably need another ladder, ladder here. Again, so they can go up and down. Um, I think that's it. I think other than that, they can get up and down themselves, I believe. Maybe. I don't know if they can actually get up this big of height. Let's see. And while they're doing that, let's go ahead and see. Uh, first things first, we got to build power, right? So the, the power station. Okay, so where do we want to put the... We need to put it near a cloud, obviously. And... I guess here, maybe? Okay, well... Well, hmm... This is a little... Okay, there we go. Yeah, that's the best place. It may not make a lot of sense, but I'm gonna... I'm gonna make them... <laughs> Now you can make them build, even if they're sleepy. In this case, they have to, because there is no place for them to sleep. Oh. So they have to build this whether they want to or not. Okay. Now we can build a house here. Okay. So we can build a house. Okay. A little, little bit forward. And get them started on their little construction here. Again, whether they like it or not, they're building it. Because they have no place to rest. And obviously decorate. And obviously we're here we're forced to decorate it with uh, bananas. It would be dumb to decorate it with a sandwich when we got two banana people here. And we want to build another house. We don't want to rest on our laurels here. And we got to do another banana too because he's a banana guy. Okay, so uh, banana. And then again, different pieces built differently. Um, I'm not exactly a big fan of how I did this because it doesn't look pretty, but it's functional. Uh, so you do have to make a choice here. Uh, function over... Aesthetics. <laughs> I've so far been going for function just because I'm not an expert in this game and I'm just very new to the game. I can worry about aesthetics at some point, but as long as it, the puzzle fits, the puzzle piece fits, we can go ahead and put the house like this. Obviously, yeah, it's not very pretty to put a house <laughs> like that, uh, but it works in this case. And we probably want to put a little ladder here to help them out, so. Okay. Now, obviously, we can do uh, things besides the ladder, but I just think the ladder is the best choice in this in this case. And again, it's asking for decoration, so we're gonna put banana. Uh, is it, are you the occupant? Okay. okay, so there we go. We got both both of them a house. Awesome. And. So now we can look at our 
Oh, okay. Well, for right now, we're just gonna put this here. And so as you, as you can see, we're, there are so many asteroids right now, but we're not really getting very far right now. So they've got one star each. We need three more happiness, happiness, so we need to build speed and stamina place. And be careful, this UFO guy will take away your pieces. And oh man, you really had to do that, didn't you? Okay, so we're gonna build a speed place for two. So it's just a matter of how we connect it. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, there we go. So obviously, again, not the ideal place, but it's the least bad-looking place. Um, you can put some of the materials there. They're both sleeping, so for right now, all we can do is put materials nearby. Oh, they're, they're, he needs to sleep. I don't know if he'll... Once they get a house, they really don't like to... At least this one. Okay. The other one is going to rest. That's fine. At as long as one of them is working on it. You know what? We're going to put a banana over there. Because probably... I don't know what that thing is, but... Seen which, uh... I'm just gonna put this away for a little for right now. Once we get a warehouse, we won't need to worry so much. And you can set up so that they obviously gonna grab the materials by themselves. You just don't want a long, you know, walking point from the materials to the building location. So that's the thing to watch out for. And I don't know why, maybe he's trying to go to sleep maybe? What, what, what do you need? Yeah, he needs to sleep. So this one goes to sleep, but this one we can put to work right away. No, no, no. Healed UFO. So you see, it kind of added bananas and space stuff together there. So we can look at our list. They got two hearts now. Uh, we need one more happiness. So we need, probably need to be able to stamina place now. So stamina place, stamina place, stamina place. Oh man, he's really tight. So let's build the uh, skill. Again, we're. Whew. This is gonna be tough. Okay. Again, not pretty, but it's, it's, it's functional. This guy needs sleep. Where's the other person? So we're gonna. So we can put. This thing here. We can put a banana somewhere here for decoration. Again, we want to put a banana because we want them happy. Putting a banana in the building makes these two banana people happy. So once we get enough happiness, we'll be able to recruit another worker and this will make things go faster. But yeah, it can be, I mean, this is a casual city building light game. Uh, I've enjoyed this game. Uh, like I said, I've played about four hours. And this is as far as I've gotten. 
so I would estimate probably total content probably uh, well if you don't count the sandbox probably like I don't know six hours maybe seven just depending you know on how fast you finish the Let's see. Okay, I don't know where to put this, so I'm just gonna put this one. Okay, no, it won't stick anywhere, so. Okay. So, build it. So now we can get, finally, we're gonna get a new, new person. So, let's go ahead and build a new house. And again, you never know what configuration of the house is gonna be. So, so, oh man, I don't know how this one's gonna fit. Nothing looks really good. Yeah, that, that didn't. Oh man. Oh my gosh. Wow. So, as you can see, there is problems with doing it this way uh, let's see oh no I don't want to build it that way I, I guess I guess that's the best way I, I don't see any other way to build this so yeah <laughs> I know it looks ugly but this is probably the only way I can build this house so need sleep God, why do you need sleep all the time Seriously, dude. Seriously, why do you need sleep all the time? So they're both sleeping right now. But I'm gonna put as many. Scrap here as possible. It doesn't help this guy over here keeps. All right, so nothing we can do right now but get more scrap and wait for our workers to start construction on this. I mean, we can build some connecting pieces, like right here. We're eventually gonna have to do it anyway. So. Uh, we might wanna make a little, let's see what we can do here. Okay. Uh, stairs maybe? Oh man, I thought the stairs would fit here. They really don't. Okay, so I should be able to destroy this. Okay, there we go. But uh, yeah, definitely don't want to be doing that too much. Um, maybe a slide? Okay, we'll see how the slide goes. Okay. Okay, so it says decorate. I thought we already decorated it, but uh, uh, now we can do something different. Uh, we're gonna go with sandwich, just because. I don't know. I don't know if that little slide works. Probably not. I don't know that there's any other kind of uh, connecting piece I can put there. So then we put our guy here. There we go. And now he's sleeping. And <laughs> again, go on here. Uh, we probably at some point want to connect here with these other clouds. And we can build around here. But that's basically the gist of it. And as you can see, it's asking us to build another house. So we have to build another house. Uh, more speed places, more stamina places as well. 
that's to get the happiness meter up. And once you get the happiness meter high enough, you can get more residents. But I think you get the gist of this game. And obviously, the difference between this and the earlier levels, as you can see, there's some set pieces here that make the building a little bit more complicated. So that's basically the challenge here. On the previous level, there were actually uh, sunspots that were raining down and you had to protect your city. So, uh, obviously this guy's annoying. He steals your material. It's not really a big deal, though. Um, anyways, this has been my Let's Play Initial Impressions review. As far as my overall feelings for this game, I did enjoy it. It is a relaxing uh, city building light. Uh, but it, I think this is an acquired taste. Uh, if you're like into uh, city sims, um, you might find this a little bit too easy, a little too relaxed. So, again, if you're if you like a casual city sim light with some arcade mechanics to it, I think you'll enjoy this. But if you're looking for something with a little bit more depth, I think that you won't like that the pieces are very limited. That's my biggest criticism of this game is the construction pieces. Um, you know, I'd like to see more. Now I do see it says zero of three construction sites, uh, but still I like to see more pieces. This is uh, uh, just really not enough material here. Although obviously if, if you look at this, you know, from where it started to where it is now, you definitely see a set of style. Um, I wish you had more say in, you know, the configuration of the houses. Because when you uh, pluck out a building, you just never know what its configuration is going to be. And you really have no input on that. It's just pretty random. And obviously, you can get one that's very big. And it'll be cause you lots of problems just because it's very big. And you can get a very little house. Uh, again, that, that'll be much easier to put in. Um, and they count the same. Like... They, like if it's randomly big, it'll just be more difficult. You don't really get a benefit from it. Uh, you just kind of get negative from it that, you know, it's just harder to place. Um, I wish you had more say in the house. Obviously, as far as the facilities, um, there are different configurations, but obviously if you go for the um, one, two, or three, obviously these are going to be bigger than the one or two, so uh, obviously there. But with the houses, it's pretty random. Um, other than that, I think the, the warehouse, uh, defense beacon, um, power station, I think they're always the same. So I don't think they vary. The, the things that do vary for sure is the houses. And I'm pretty sure the folk facilities also vary uh, in their configurations. And depending on how you decorate them, they're gonna have like different names. Like since I put a UFO and a banana, it's called the peeled UFO shoe inserts. So that's the reason why. Anyways, uh, this is again, initial impressions, uh, review, not a full review, just on the about four hour gameplay that I played. Like I said, I've enjoyed it. Uh, it's really hard to rate because I think, like I said, either you like this casual type of gameplay or, or you don't. Uh, but I find it pretty polished. I have not experienced any issues or bugs at all playing this game. I think the mechanics are pretty solid for what they are. Uh, if I have to rate it, um, I'd give it a 6.5 out of 10. Like I said, I'd like to see more pieces, but my other, as more building pieces, uh, obviously it, I, eight levels might not be enough. Uh, as far as the sandbox, I'd like to see more like randomness there. Uh, you know, or ability to, to control how many clouds there are, or you know, have some say so in the actual layout. I think for sandbox, I think that would really help out. Um, but the $25 asking price is a bit pricey uh, for what you're getting here. But again, it's a cute, I like the art style. Um, it's pretty polished. I have not experienced any issues or bugs. It's very easy to play. Um, I wouldn't say it's complicated to master. Uh, it does take some patience because as you can see there's a lot of stuff going on uh, Sometimes you have to wait for your little guys There's stuff you can do to help them along and you know There's a little bit of strategy as far as figuring out. Okay. What do I build next? You know, but it's not Complicated either. So anyways, uh, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like comment and subscribe and as always have a wonderful day Goodbye